Welcome to the sixth episode of the Back in Business series. And guess what? It is snowing again in Jersey. I can't believe it. Is it ever going to end? Doesn't seem like it. But anyway, I just want to thank everyone who has subscribed so far. Congratulations. We reached 200 plus on the road to 500. And since I do have a lot of new subscribers, just want to go over really quick the reason for this Back in Business series. So posting every uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, back in business because I'm in retro fitness working out now. I can focus on the three main compound movements, squat, bench, and deadlift. So this month of February, working on form, not necessarily worried about how much weight I'm lifting. It's all about form, back in business, back to getting the videos up three days a week, lifting, staying on top of my nutrition and everything because for those new subscribers if you guys haven't watched previous videos I did find out that I am fructose intolerant over winter break so for about two to three months I was feeling very very bloated put on some weight because of that unfortunately I know it's mostly water weight but you know I'm not at the physique that I want to be at so back in business that's what this series is for to get back on track get my form down for the three main compound lifts because I haven't done that for over a year and then the series will conclude in Feb the end of February so the last episode will be testing day so I'll see what my one rep maxes for the three lifts are and I'll conclude this series but I'll continue to get videos out weekly of course so again just thank you guys so far for all the support it has been great let's get 500 subscribers as fast as we can again stay tuned for the platinum series review on their stack that I got from bodybuilding.com. Thank you guys, the products have been great. Flavors are awesome, and just give you guys that little insight. So stay tuned, give this a thumbs up if you're enjoying it, and I will see you guys in the next clip. All right, so warm-ups are done. Worked up to just 105, nothing crazy. Left some of the tank because I wanna try 10 sets of four with 90, we'll see how that goes. No pause or anything right now, I'll probably leave that for next week. But we're gonna go for 10 sets of four with 90, so let's get it started. What's up guys, it's Gina with the first ever workout commentary. Bear with me as this is my first one, so I'll work on it, I promise, but you guys recommended it, so here you go. Bench pressing with 90 for 10 sets of 4 overall. I thought it was pretty good. I show you the first 3 sets and then I show you the last 2 sets so you can really compare the beginning to the end. Overall I thought it was pretty good but my speed definitely has slowed down in the last 2 sets. So here is set number 2 and in a minute when I'm done this I kind of tell you guys what I'm focusing on for this particular bench set or sorry bench workout today. So just getting four reps, not too bad. So like I said, we're going to do 10 sets of four. I'm trying to make it more of like a quick cardio thing, get some volume in, but still heaviest weight. So I'm only resting for a minute in between, really focusing on keeping my wrist straight and not bent. So. That's what I'm working on right now. Always have a goal for your workouts. Yep, so like I just said, I always go into a workout session with a goal in mind, whether it's squat, bench, deadlift, anything. Always have something that you are going to focus on here. Just keeping my wrist straight and also keeping my back arched. You guys will see that when I bring my head up to the bar, that's because I'm locking my back into place, keeping it arched. Next time, I will wear a tighter shirt so you guys can see that my back is not on the bench at all. It's kind of hard to tell here, but this is set number 9 of 10. I think I, on the descent, I am pretty fast, which I shouldn't control more. So there I am, just locking into place. And then on the way up, that's really where I need to work on my strength. So it drops down pretty fast. I mean, that wasn't too bad there, but as I get into reps 3 and 4, little grinder right there. I think next week I will work on pause bench so I can decrease that weakness there. So going into the final set here, 
Actually, I'm pretty surprised because this is 10 cents of four with 90, including the bar, and only a minute rest. So I'm surprised by my bench strength because I really haven't benched too much, and obviously it's been a while since I've done anything like this. But I'm pretty impressed by it. So only a minute rest in between 10 sets of four. I think that's pretty good. So I'm excited at the end of this series to test my one rep max for all of this. So finishing up here. Little grinder, but not too bad for 10 sets. Then just getting into some dumbbell chest press with the flat bench. This is honestly one of my favorite. I first grabbed the 30s and they went up really well. I was thinking I was going to do four sets of like 10 to 12, but these were 30s and I was like, well, let's conserve some energy the next time I'll go up to 40. So I only did eight reps here, just conserving the energy. And then I grabbed the 40s which wasn't my best idea. You'll see me struggle here and really try to, I think I got seven reps here, really feeling it at four, and then from on there. So probably shouldn't have gone to the 40s, maybe 35s. That way I can get a good um, three more sets of 10 to 12, really grinding there. So next time, probably just stick with the 35s because you'll see me here now for my final set. I have 35s and it went a lot better. I ended up doing two sets with 35s. So the first set with 30, second with 40, and then the last two with 35. Next time I do this, I'll probably just stick with 35s and in the 10 to 12 rep range. That's going to about do it for this workout commentary. I really enjoy doing this, so please leave a like if you guys did enjoy it and a comment below if you have anything that I can work on for sure. But please stay tuned for the rest of the video. I think you're really going to enjoy it. And hope you guys are having a great day. Great things are happening. As you can tell, I still haven't showered from the gym. It's 11 o'clock, but I've just been so busy since I got back from the gym. And I wanted to vlog this part because just great things are happening. I just tweeted that and I don't know. It's just I wanted to share that with you guys. Reaching over 200 subscribers is awesome. So thank you guys. I mean, everything has just been coming together lately to, with this channel, with social media, and I just wanted to share that moment with you guys that things take time. Things that are worth it take time. Like nothing's gonna happen overnight. Be happy for what you have in front of you, and know that. Everything happens for a reason, and everything is going to come together. One way or another, it will. So never give up, and just everything comes from within. Wanted to share that little bit for you guys. Um, I just got a package, actually, I was walking home from campus and saw the UPS guy there, and he had a package from a company called P28. So they have a lot of protein style foods, like protein pancake mix, butters, bread, stuff like that. Highly recommend. The link to them will be in the description box below. This came from Mike Olson. He sent this out to me, so I have no idea what's inside. Thank you for this. I'm excited to see what it's about. I've heard amazing things from P28. I have had their pancake mix before. Very good, so I recommend that. But let's check out what's inside, and I really hope you guys are enjoying these videos. I absolutely am loving making them, and it has been awesome, so thank you all for that. Let's see what's inside. I have no idea. So we've got original high protein bread, 28 grams of protein in there, so let's check out the macros. One slice is a serving, 130 calories, three and a half fat, 12 carb, two fiber, 14 protein, three sugar, not too bad. White chocolate, strawberries and cream. Excited to try that out. Shaker cup, and then protein wraps 28 grams again 
Awesome. More bread. Ooh, bagels, actually. Start your day. And a shirt. So this is awesome. I can't believe I've got all this stuff. So I can't believe all that stuff came in. I mean, like I said, great things are happening, and you guys are going to see every little bit of it, and I'm so excited to share it with you all. Shout out to the P28 company for sending this out and for Mike Olson for hooking me up with this. I will let you guys know as I use their products and what I think. Again, I've tried the pancake mix before and I absolutely love it. Really easy to mix with. Got the shirt too, which is pretty cool. Love that. Definitely be wearing that. The wraps, breads, bagels, the shaker cup. You'll see me guys, I'll use it, I'll review it, let you know what I think. If you guys have used it before, let me know down in the comments section and then, yeah that's it I wasn't gonna plan on vlogging right now but I am just really happy and I hope you guys can see that and the package came in at a perfect time so can't say it enough everything comes from within yeah that's all I got I'll see you guys in the next clip what's up guys so this is gonna be how I wrap up the video and it's kinda gonna be a way to celebrate reaching 200 plus subscribers and thank you guys for that but what I'm gonna do is a Q&A so I will post a picture on Instagram and Instagram will be right here my name there'll be a picture for that comment below questions that you have it could be honestly anything whether it's questions about my fitness my health school my you know history anything about me Leave it in the comments below for the Instagram picture. You'll know which one it is. I'll make it pretty obvious. Also, for the, if you don't have Instagram, just go ahead and leave a comment below of a question that you have. On this video, I will look at that. Also, Twitter. Name for Twitter will be right here as well. So comment below on this video. Comment on Instagram. And comment on Twitter. Well, you can't really comment on Twitter, but you know what I mean. Send me a tweet, DM, whatever. I will do a Q&A for you guys, celebrate the reaching 200 subscribers. Thank you guys once again. Hope you're enjoying all of this as much as I am. As always, stay tuned for the next video. Next one will be pretty good too because I'm heading home this weekend. So be the workouts will be done at the Retro Fitness there. And that one is a little different, so stay tuned for that. And I'll just take you through my weekend at home. Have a great week as always. Thank you guys. Stay tuned for the next one.